Hi beauties. Before I sign off for the day, um, I wanted to share this last message with you. And hopefully you're liking these five minute messages way more intimate than me working in the apothecary or me working in where I normally film. I'm currently in my bedroom at this moment. But I wanted to share this message with you because it came to me and it's so simple. It was so simple and when it dawned on me, I was like, why, why didn't I think of this? Why? <laughs> But, you know, everything happens for a reason. And hopefully this will reach someone in the same way that it reached me. But the last few months have been areas of tremendous growth for me personally. And I could see that within the chart. I've been talking about it. You know, for all of us, you know, many of you guys are going through the same type of growth, maybe in different areas of your life, but we're all growing. And whenever you find growth, there's pain, right? Because we're uncomfortable. There's a shift and what it is that we are, we're used to or what it is that we like or loved is changing in some way. And that's the, that's the energy of transformation. That's what transformation looks like. Sorry. Um, there was a dog that was barking outside and it triggered Franklin to bark. But... Yeah, so throughout this entire process of me going through transformation in my life, in a certain area of my life, and actually multiple areas of my life, I'm still setting intention, I'm still working my magic, and I am watching things unfold, I'm watching things happen, and I can see that it's happening. And throughout the entire process, I have pain. And again, like I said before, it's expected to feel pain when your life is shifting and some things have to be released and when there's a release, I mean, it's emotional. Like I said in one of my other videos, sometimes when we have new beginnings that come into our lives, as excited as we are for that new beginning, it's still emotional in a lot of ways. There's a lot of emotions that are connected to it, whether it be excitement or fear or sadness or loneliness or joy and love. I mean, there's so many emotions that come with it, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm just taking it. You know what I mean? I'm working my magic, but I'm also taking it. I'm taking a beating. And I feel it emotionally. Because I feel it emotionally, I feel it physically. Because I feel it physically and emotionally, I feel it mentally. Because I feel it physically, <laughs> emotionally and and mentally then I feel it spiritually and I started to unravel I started having like I had like two two or three days where I felt really really weak despite all of the good that was happening in my life I emotionally felt weak for myself not for others but I felt weak for myself and I went to my altar and I laid out all of my photos of my ancestors and my family that I've lost that are with me still in spirit. And I asked them for their guidance and I asked them for their protection. I asked them for their insight. I was like, yo, can you help a sister out? I have snacks. Like literally I brought like snacks to the altar. I brought tea to the altar. And in that moment, I did feel relief. But the next two days after that, I was right. It felt like I was right back to square one. And I went back to the altar space and I said, look, you know, what is it that you need me to hear? What is it that you need me to do? And the message was receive. And I was like, I am receiving. Like I was so mad. I was so mad. Duh. Like I was so mad because I'm like, I'm receiving. Like I am receiving. What else am I doing? I'm waiting for my blessing to come in. Like, and the process is painful. What do you mean receive, right? And oh my God. And then I, I was so, I was so annoyed by it. Like out of all the messages to receive, literally receive, I was annoyed by the fact that they were just telling me to like receive. And I sat with it for a good five hours, you guys. I went back to work. I was like, whatever. Okay. I know that things that I am asking for are going to manifest themselves. It's just going to take some time. I just got to be patient. And I went back to my work and then it hit me. And when they said receive, they, they were meaning, I'm like trying not to cry. <laughs> when they said receive, they were telling me and what the, what the message was within that. And I didn't even, it didn't even dawn on me because we get so accustomed to 
our ways and what we think the message means. And that's why it's so important for us to stay open and flexible. So when I when they said receive, they were saying give to yourself in the way that you are giving to others. Give to yourself. Just as you're setting intentions, give to yourself that same amount of energy, specifically with prayer. And I was like, I pray for myself when I'm setting intentions or I'm visualizing, I'm doing that for myself. I'm doing that because this is something that I want to come into my life. I'm doing this because I want this to manifest. I'm doing this to set intention for this to come into my life. and Or I'm doing this for my understanding. I'm doing this for my healing. But it was more than that. It was praying for my own peace, praying for my own happiness, praying for relief, praying for emotional release. And that the weight or the burden that was on my heart that I was feeling throughout all of this, that it would be released, that it would be let go so that I could be in a space of peace and actually enjoy the process and enjoy my life again. And to, and not just like the grand things because we have all of these things that we're achieving, these goals that we're working towards, but ultimately, you know, all of that is all well and good and it's very exciting, but to our core, we have to have peace. We have to be happy. And it's not expected for us to be happy all the time, but it's not all, it's at the same time, it's not expected for us to be suffering and to have pain and to be, you know, feeling broken down and weak and beaten up. And when they said receive, I was, the, I didn't realize in that moment how much I spent time praying for the well being and the happiness and the love and the success for, and the understanding for other people and I never once really gave myself those same prayers. Granted, I was praying for things that manifested themselves ultimately like my success and, you know, attention in some ways, you know, when it comes to like YouTube or my personal life and dating and family and friendships, like I would see those things happen, but did I ever really truly ask for you know, the same amount of love and attention when I pray for others, when I pray for their well-being, when I ask, you know, that if they're hurting, if they're suffering, if they're struggling, if they're lost, help them to feel good in that process. Help them to have clarity. I never gave myself that. I never allowed myself, I didn't even think to give myself those prayers. And ultimately, that's what my ancestors, my guides, my angels were saying in that moment was just you need to receive like you need to receive what it is that you give out and ultimately too when I would hear the word receive I was like well you know I'm giving love to other people I'm giving attention to other people I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt I'm giving people the chance to explain themselves I'm giving people an opportunity I'm giving people forgiveness but did I give myself those same things and if I'm being honest with myself, the answer was no. And I prayed. <laughs> I'm happy to hear him barking because he was not feeling well earlier today. So this is him coming back to life. So, like I said, you know, I hope that these messages reach the right person. I'm setting the intention that they do. I'm setting the intention that you give to yourself not just in intentions and magic, but you give to your, you pray for yourself the way that you'd pray for others. And don't pray for things all the time. Don't set intention for things all the time or people. Don't forget to neglect your peace and your happiness. And we don't even realize sometimes how much we carry every day because we get so used to the weight of it. So let's say it's work, let's say it's stress, let's say it's heartache or disappointment or wounded child issues. We don't even realize sometimes what it is that we carry until that burden is actually released off of our shoulders. And for me, I believe that for those types of things, the best way to heal and to experience a, a, a lightness, like a light in your energy, a light in your spirit is to pray for yourself, a real, true, authentic prayer for yourself. Allow yourself to receive that. It makes all the difference in the world. All right. So on that note, I'm actually going to stop for the day 
and take some time for myself before I start working again tomorrow morning and take care of my babies. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thumbs down if you hate it. If you hate it, I understand. But I love the fact that we're able to communicate and I'll be able to know what it is that you guys like or don't like. All right, so we'll talk soon. Bye.